We will now look at the camera's connectivity features. The X1D has dual SD card slots. There's one there and there's an empty one there. Um, only UHS, that's ultra high speed, uh, one type SD cards are supported. And these cards can currently be used as concurrent storage, but the option to back up as you shoot will be added in a future update. Now, you will also be able to use one slot for RAW files and the other for JPEG files, or one slot for still files and the other for video files. That will also be coming in future firmware updates. Under the lower flap, there is HDMI connectivity. And using this, we can either have clean HDMI output uh, delivering high definition 1080p, uh, a resolution of 25 frames per second so that we can view the uh, sensor output on an external monitor, on a larger monitor, or if you want, it can be recorded externally. Now also in this compartment, there is a USB 3 type C connector which enables um, connection to a computer for transfer of your image or your video files, or for you to shoot tethered using the Hasselblad Focus software. Now, with USB 3, uh, high-speed transfers are also supported when you're using the right uh, appropriate cables and the right computer. The X1D has built-in dual-frequency Wi-Fi, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. This enables the camera to be controlled remotely by the Focus mobile app. To connect to the Focus app using Wi-Fi, first of all, we need to turn the Wi-Fi feature on on the camera. And then identify that particular Wi-Fi in your Wi-Fi network settings on your tablet or mobile device. And then access the app itself. There's the focus app. And now I'll have control of the camera from the app. Now the app has the following functionality. It enables you to trigger the camera, you can change the shooting settings, and you can view the live feed uh, and browse previously captured images and rate them. So let's have a look and explore some of those settings. So currently I can see a previously captured image. There's only the one image, that's the one that I captured earlier. If I press this icon here, I can bring up control of the camera's exposure, the shutter speeds here, and the apertures with this dial. I can select through into different focus modes. I can also select and change the ISO settings as well by rolling the top wheel here. And there is also exposure compensation here and selection of the metering mode of the camera as well. This larger button here is the capture button. If I just point the camera down to that end of the studio and let's operate a capture. And there we can see a picture of the studio captured remotely by using the app. I can also access live view and in live view I'm now seeing the live image and I can actually adjust the focus position whilst in live view while, by touching the icon on the screen here. One of the other features is that while you're viewing your images you can give them a rating as well. You can also operate tethered shooting with Focus software, but I will be covering that in another video.